What's up, brodies? Welcome back to another video on the Danny and Tubi channel. I want to thank y'all so much for liking, subscribing, commenting on my last video. I appreciate it, man. Just, you know, just being the intro, I got some good views on it. Almost, like, I think 400 views on that. So that's pretty dope. Actually, one of my videos is about to hit 30,000 views. So that thing is crazy, bro. That thing is popping off like wild. But today, man, I'm going to do, be doing a modification to the booty of the beast, man. I'm going to be removing these side markers right here. Now, as you can see, they're kind of tinted. That's because I tinted it with some, like, truck tent thing i don't even know what i use bro i just wanted to tint because they were like super bright red and they were ugly and i was like bro i gotta get rid of that so i've been on instagram lately right and see these people with led side markers i'm like bro where did they get this stuff so i looked it up man and shout out to the people at Stang lights gave me a cool little sticker right here not sponsored by the way but shout out to your boy and uh, they sent me these dope ass blacked out side markers man they're led and they're gonna be going right here so you can see right there and being that they're blacked out it's gonna go really cool with the car uh led so they're gonna be bright red it's gonna go with the color combination of my whip which is black and red so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be removing the bumper maybe i think we're gonna be removing the tail lights we're gonna be splicing we're gonna be you know putting new things in and taking out the old stuff and yeah brothers and also with the box that it comes with it just comes with these two side markers one's for each side and it's also gonna come with some zip ties and some scotch locks. So I actually learned about these things today. They're pretty dope. They didn't know about that. I'm gonna be using them in the future for sure. But again, shout out to Stang Lights. I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description. And they also make stuff for like, you know, newer Mustangs and specifically Mustangs for right now. I think, I mean, I don't know. I mean, sure, if I was them, I would get into all of that stuff. But uh, they, make, they make for our models, for the new edge people, and also for S550, uh, SN97. So pretty dope people. But I'm gonna show you the tools, guys, in order for y'all to do this mod, and let's get to that. All right, Brody. So the things that you're gonna be using is a 11 millimeter deep socket, 10 millimeter deep socket, a 7 millimeter just a regular socket, a ratchet, a 10 millimeter wrench, some scissors to take off the fasteners. Now you don't have to use scissors if you have the fastener removers, whatever you can use that. But what I do is I put the fastener between the scissors and I pop them off. Uh, I wouldn't recommend just because it's dangerous. Obviously, you can slip and cut yourself, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Just I'm stupid and I don't have the tool. And uh, Phillips uh, head, so I'm gonna be using that too to take off some screws that are on the car, on the bumper specifically. And yeah, I mean, these are all the things you need. Oh, my bad, and something I left out is some pliers. So you're gonna need some pliers for this. So let's get to it, guys. All right, buddy, so first things first, you're gonna open your trunk. And right here, hopefully y'all can see, you're gonna be taking out these four fasteners and then you got these screws right here they you can just there I believe they're hand tied you can just take them off by hand so we're gonna do that and let me take them off real quick all right buddy so we removed this piece right here the trim piece and this bottom piece that's on the trunk so after that you're gonna pull on this right here so let me get my light so I can show you these bolts so you got well I'm trying to have to go bro so you got one right there and one, let me see if I can get it right there. And then the one with the silver washers. Let me go over to the other side and you got one over there and you got one right there. There you go. So you're going to remove one, two and three, four. So let's get to that. And after that, I believe we have to go now outside and under the fender. So let's get to it. All right, cool. So after removing those four screws, so right here, I like laying them out. We're going to get into the four, I mean the four washers, my bad. We're gonna get into the four screws that are right here. Got one, and we got two, and we also got two on the other side. Let me check them out, see if they're in the same area. Yeah. All right, cool, so let's get to that. All right, buddy, so took out those four screws. How do you bring out this big boy tool right here? In order for me to get in between the tire and the uh, inside of the fender wall. Now, the only reason I use this is because probably because I have these meaty tires. I'm pretty sure you guys won't have that problem, but either way, it's just pretty easy to take them off anyways. I just had to use this because it was really being a pain. Um, now that we got that done, we're going to get actually at the bottom of the vehicle. So, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but actually, yeah, you can see. So, you have these three fasteners one two and there's a third one right there and you have these that are right here see that one and on the other side there's two let me take you over there 
All right. One and two. So we're gonna take these off, and I believe the bumper should come off after that. So yeah, get back to y'all. So we have a tragedy, my boys. All right, pizza the scissors. So it goes to show that you really need the tools recommended for this. Again, don't use scissors, bro. This is just a stupid thing that I use. However, you know, it did work just until like this part right here, the one over here. Yeah, that one was not coming out. So I was like, yeah, bro. So I just had to use a whole different tool, but whatever. I mean, this did the work for almost all of it. Just broke at the last minute. So now at this point, we already got the three fasteners under the back of the bumper and the two on each side. They are over here. This one was a pain over there. Got these three and those two on the side. So what we're gonna do is, I've already loosened the side right here and the other side. Now we gotta take off three washers that are over here. So there's one right here. Let's see if you can see it. Being that I'm not seeing it, it's one right here. I think y'all guys can see it right there. There's one over here. Let's see if I can get with y'all. See if I can find it for y'all. Right there. So those three, take those three off, and then the bumper should come off by then. So let me get back to y'all. All right, buddy. So those three inside have been removed, so it should come off by now. So let's see. All right, cool, buddy. So once you're under here with the bumper, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a 10 millimeter. You're gonna take these two off. So this right here is for the rear side markers or the rear markers, whatever. So let's take them off with the 10 millimeter and also on the other side. So let's get back to it. And hopefully by this time, actually what I'm gonna have to do is actually gonna take off these tail lights and I'm gonna have to splice and stuff. So we'll get to it, brodies. We're almost done. We're halfway there. All right, boom, check them out, yo. So are you gonna have to use the same 10 millimeter um, washer on the back of it? So if you're having trouble taking out the plastic part that got stuck inside like I did, example like this, this is what I did. Get yourself a set of pliers, right? And grab it like this. Now squeeze it a little bit and bang it against the floor. What the hell? That thing just flew out like a goddamn. I don't even know. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> I'm so confused as to where it went, bro. I thought I had a firm grip. Look, it might have worked. Hold up. I gotta find it. God dang. That thing flew like a bullet. Uh. <laughs> Oh, bro, I'm so confused as to where it went. All right, look, I'm gonna get back to y'all. As soon as I get back to y'all, I'll have it in my hand. Found her. So, let's see here. I wanna make sure this thing's pretty even. So, let's see, can I move to the side? Or is it just like that? It's getting pretty dark here. I would've honestly finished early, but being that I have to record and show you guys how it's done. I think that's as most of it will move. All right, it's fine. So just run these string, rings, <laughs> run these rings, these things through the wire. Be careful not to strip the wire. And retighten them bad boys. Probably just do them by hand. So it tells you not to tighten them too much. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this on this side and the other side. And I'll get back to when it's time for splicing. So get back to you guys. All right, buddy. So after putting on the 10 millimeter uh, washers, whatever, just tie them. Don't tie them too hard. And what we're gonna do next, we're gonna take off. My bad. You're gonna use a wrench on that. We're gonna take off the four washers that are behind the tail lights. So you're gonna have to take off the tail lights 
and one of the bulb sockets you're going to use to splice the green and the negative wire so let's take off both of these tail lights and take off the bulb sockets and i'm going to show you which one it's going to be all right buddy so we got the tail lights off by taking off the four washers right here but we have a problem so i forgot i have sequential tail lights and on the instructions it only has a black and a brown wire mine has a red green and a black wire for the innermost light which is this one now it says to use this not the reverse light now i'm having a problem man because i have a green and black wire down there the green one's supposed to go to the brown wire there's no brown wire the black one's supposed to go to the black wire of course you know negative but being that there's a green and a <laughs> a green and a red i don't know which i suppose the green one goes to the green right because green green black black all right so i'm gonna try it bro if this doesn't go as planned so help me god all right here we get it all right buddy so there it goes it's on i had a mental breakdown shout out to my girlfriend for calling me down but check it out come here so if you have sequential tail lights and i don't know if you have it like mine if it's green red and black you're gonna connect your green wire to the green wire, the black wire to the black wire. It's just as simple as that. Don't connect nothing to the red wires on the first bulb. Now, mines are labeled. So the inner bulb is the one that's all the way. Let's say, for example, if the tele was like this, the inner bulb is gonna be the first one that's closest to the trunk key, meaning this one right here. So that's the one you gotta splice into. Now, the kit already comes with the scotch. I forgot what they're called, scotch, whatever. Just those things, bro. And right now, I just literally, like, I punched our refrigerator like 15 times. But whatever, I just switched the hell out of the negative wire and that thing works. So whatever, we just don't leave it like that. Look at that, bro. That thing looks amazing. So I'm just gonna get to the other side, have that on, and put the car back up together. And I'm gonna show you the end product. But basically, guys, that's all of it. I mean, from there, all it is is wire tucking, and making things look nice so thank y'all for watching the whole installation let's get back to installing all this back in all right buddy so we're done check it out this thing looks hella dope bruh this thing is wild let me check the other side oof bro i'm telling you i almost had a mental breakdown when i thought this thing was not working but check it out just had to use my brain for this Something I've never done before. All right, brothers, we got it, everything installed. Thing looks dope. Shout out to Stain Lights. Uh, again, I'll have the description down in the below. And that way you can have a link. You can check out all their cool stuff. Please show love on this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share it to your friends and family. And I'll see you to the next one.